yo what is going on everyone it's tk and welcome back to the channel on today's video we're going to dive into hero equipments and i want to give you the best you know uh, variations and combination of these ones with every single strategy that i could personally think of so without any further ado let's dive in first attack that i wanted to showcase was like a hybrid like a queen charge in general what i like to have with my queen itself is basically the healer puppet because it gives you more healers let's say you couldn't like imagine just send a few loons and some of your healers are dead or some of your healers have switched sometimes it happens with the hybrid or any type of queen charge when the army is too close to the queen the healer suddenly switch and going into this queen charge armies what i like to have with the hybrid itself is the king with the raid gem and the gauntlet just because he can clear outside a lot better and we're going to dive into that but mainly the warden i want to have that healing tone with the warden ability of course now don't worry about my queen it's going to be a bit tough on her but the warden ability that heals these hybrid up means you can actually have only one heal spell and get your hybrid going really easier so that you can see the king ability on the left absolutely demolishing the outside faster and faster so let's dive into the next strategy and tell you what i like next up i like to have these few abilities that i'm going to explain with a dragon spam attack or an air spam attack like hydra super dragon or any type of this stuff now the warden will have the raid gem because that is the most value you cannot really have the healing tome as you know the dragons don't really you know get healed that much unless you have a maxed healing tome but there's a difference sometimes if you're going through a town hall poison on a box base you can have the healing tome because it will heal back your dragon so nicely through the town hall poison but the raid gem is the go-to and of course my queen died here but the king ability i like to have with this strategy is basically the earthquake and the gauntlet as it just makes the king so much powerful at the same time the earthquake will have you know will give basically the queen and king access to few layers of the base in case they are stuck behind the wall in the court just like this now the queen has access to the scatter easier just imagine the queen was behind the king but for the queen ability i really like to have the healer puppet on this one as well just because sometimes the queen on the outside could actually keep staying on the outside and with those three healers there is no one that really puts seeking air mines on the outside so in case your queen is low on hp you can always pop her ability get a few healers and take the queen back up in rage spell so easily you can clear a whole area like that that's how much healer puppet is important in the rage spell as well all right next up we got the super barge strategy or any type of you know this type of like let's say you take a super archer and you take all oh, root rider something like that what i like to have is the raid gem with the warden because it boosts up both heroes it boosts up and rage up the unicorn the ice golem the titan and the root rider so it's like a huge sui going into the base which is so helpful guys throughout the entire attack because warden doesn't die it's kind of the same way as super dragons except the fact that warden sometimes dies in a super dragon attack but not in this case in super barge attack if you're doing a sui with your warden the warden actually stays up for so long and it's actually so under it and what i like to do is pop his ability before i pop the you know abilities of the king just because of two reasons first thing first is that in town of 16 the king ability can be used a bit deeper as it's not just barbarians and raged king it's so much more and on this strategy i like to have the earthquake boost and that gauntlet just because when i pop the warden ability on the king itself the gauntlet later on gets a bug which then makes the king so much more powerful and immune to any damage and at the same time once you see the root riders are dead at the end of the you know attacks or in the middle of the attack in the core or you cannot really wall break anywhere the king ability actually gives you so much access to a lot of the layers which the queen can now follow as well that's how simple it is and of course with the queen i like to have the same exact abilities on every 
every single one of these strategies guys i have these three healers with the invisibility on the queen just because in my opinion they are the best and they can really heal a lot of stuff and at the end of the day if your healers switch or let's say your queen died the healers will switch eventually to other troops and it's just so much easier to finish the base of having three healers behind your heroes or root riders or titan barbarians anything like that i don't like the warden with the healing tome on this uh, strategy myself just because you have heroes and high 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 hp troops so healing them up it's not really gonna work because they have so much hp you don't see the difference between the hps if you have even a maxed healing tone simple as that let's go on to the next strategy all right we are here for the next strategy which is gonna be smash attacks so super witches super bowlers zap titans of course zap super witches and i really love the raid gem on warden just because on this strategy which is a super witches you have healers raged up and super witches and uh, you know big boys the queen sometimes even your king if he goes in you have a lot of things raged up so you can save actually one of the rages for the royal champion that is one of the main things about these smash attacks you don't necessarily need to just keep raging the army when you have raged warden at the beginning you have everything raged up if you want to rage a healer go for it but in the middle of the attack you don't really need to rage anything and with the king i like to have the gauntlet and the rage just because the hybrid attack same exact thing it can actually clear the building so much easier and absolutely demolish everything don't worry about the attacks i'm just you know giving you the demon demonstrations of what i like to have of course i haven't used even zap spell no earthquake it's just random spells but in general the warden ability early on will protect those big boys that are going in and then later on by the time they will die the super witches will actually bring more big boys just enough time into the base so simple as that you can see already the healers keep being raged up is really nice and of course i'm just gonna you know just use these spells for no reason on them i think one of these that i spelled but in general that is the abilities i like and at the same time sometimes you can see those healers they get close to the town hall once you're reaching the town hall and what i like to have with the queen equipment is i pop the queen ability usually when the town hall is down it's most of the time you do too because of the town hall poison and these healers are the one that can actually find the traps for your maxed healers so they will die before your healers come into the town hall area and find sick in air mines or red bomb farm so your queen healers are basically a sacrifice to the actual healers of the army simple as that let's go on to the next strategy and see it okay we are here on the next strategy and it's going to be a zap root rider attack but i want to kind of put it in general of any root rider attack the healing tome is actually quite nice for them just because they have hp that's true but it's not that much of like crazy like a golem or a king which you cannot heal back up but root riders you can actually heal back around one fourth of their heal like uh, sorry health and it's just so amazing how it works but your warden walk will be slower you need to most likely use a rage if you're doing a smash attack with the root riders with the warden and the healers so simple as that and for the rest of the base your healers will not be in the race spell, but you have the healing tome where sometimes you might not take a heal spell but root riders can get back up to a lot of hp and gather them as well so same as that same queen ability for the king ability if it's a smash attacks and you are sending the king inside the base i like to have the earthquake and the gauntlet same as my super barge you know um equipment but in general you can see this heal spell absolutely healing back everything that was low on hp and it will keep healing even after the warden ability wears off so simple as that let's go on to the next attack all right for the next attack i like to demonstrate a ground spam strategy that some people might be liking and trying out for themselves now for this attack I like to have the warden with the raid gem just because it speeds up the root riders and because you have a lot of them 
you don't actually need a healing tome just because they can actually demolish the base by themselves on a race well before even like you need to heal them back up you're gonna have a lot of them trust me on this army you can see i'm having the bat spells but the army is a bit random as well so i the spells are not the perfect spell but look at the warden ability that i wanted to make sure i take the king inside it because with the king ability I like to have the gauntlet and the earthquake boost because if you take a closer look now we're gonna open up a lot of the base and at the same time we are invincible in front of our heroes of our troops and that king ability is bugged currently so if you're going to use the king inside the attacking like and strategy like this you need to use it very nicely but look at the way I pop those healers and one healer with the queen on a race ball is still very good when the warden even follows everything will have you know just a nice little boost but at the same time you can see that healer puppet is just so nice how it can just keep healing the queen for enough time of course we lost a few healers but it is what it is the healing tome is the healing sorry but the healer puppet is really good with a lot of the strategies that you know the queen is inside the base or on the outside of the base i don't really see any other better uh, equipment in general to be honest and uh, i think the healer is the best now coming to the end of the video i wanted to kind of showcase what i like to take on my super bar strategy by the way i showcased it of course but this would be kind of like a way to tell you how to upgrade this stuff so what i like to have i upgraded the healer puppet the first ever ability Get it to level 15 because then it will give you three healers behind the queen. They're not going to be the max healers. Don't worry. But, you know, it is what it is, man. They are still very good. But then you need to jump into the raid gem and max it like completely to level 18. Let it go there. And at the same time, you then go ahead and upgrade the gauntlet because the gauntlet is nice. But you need to have it really up there, like maybe after level 15 or even 20. Just because it's an epic ability, you need to get it to 27 or 28, I believe. I think it's 27. But still, these abilities are so good after level 15. Keep that in mind. The abilities are just overpowered after level 15. So take it there and see how everything else looks in your attacks. There will be a lot of changes probably in your attacks. And by the way, a lot of you had questions about the earthquake boost. Level 1 earthquake boost will actually open any wall guys and when you level it up it increases the damage and the hit points it gives back to the king so keep that in mind it's just a little nice boost that it gives the king but still better than nothing and hopefully you enjoyed this video learned a few things about abilities hopefully your army was mentioned that the army you're using if not make sure you comment down below what army i missed and i will bring the equipment to you on the comment reply so hopefully again i'll see you on the next one take care peace